Are we gonna go to the park this morning? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. Do you want to go to Trader Joe's too? No. No, you just want to go to the park? Yeah. But we're out of milk. We got to get you more milk. Okay. <laughs> love you, Mommy. I love you too, Scarlett. Okay, I'm going to go get ready so we can go to the park. Okay. Okay. Emergency. I cannot find Scarlett's bucket for the sand and her shovel. I don't know where it's at. I'm wondering if we left it at the park and forgot to grab it. But she's sitting in the stroller in the garage. So we have some stuff here outside. We'll just grab this and this and this. Hopefully this will meet her standards. Yeah, you want to hold it? Oh. I have to put my big water up here because my little cup holder, um, it will like tip over. Trust me, it's happened. So I need to get, I, I don't know why, Scarlett's almost two and I still don't have like a little carrier to attach to my stroller. Um, I really need to get one of those. guys we just got to the park and I can finally have a chance to sit down and talk with you all so I have a lot of things planned for today um, this morning I went ahead and got myself up got myself ready before Scarlett woke up so that was off my list and last night I told her we would go to the park she went to bed like a good girl and she went to bed well and she woke up and the very first thing she said when she woke up this morning was park park big slide big slide and so I'm like crap <laughs> we have to go to the park first thing in the morning which honestly it's fine so today's video is going to be a day in the life video I know you guys like day in the life videos and I love filming them sorry I'm trying to watch her because she's like climbing up to the big slide hold on okay let's see you do it Go down the big slide. Woohoo! Look at you. You're so big. Again? Yeah. Okay, you gotta go climb all the way back up. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, as I was trying to say, today's video is actually in collaboration with somebody I have collabed with before. You guys have seen her on my channel before. But her name is Emily from the Jackson Hive. I connected with Emily way back when Scarlett had her helmet. If you guys remember, Scarlett had to wear a helmet for her plagiocephalian torticollis that she had. And Emily's son, Eli, actually had to wear one too. So we connected through that and then we've just kind of kept in touch ever since. But I love Emily's channel. She is a daily vlogger. She vlogs every single day, which is amazing to me because she's also a mom of three. She has a little girl named Ellery and then Eli and Emmett, her two little boys. And Emmett is a brand new baby. So she has her hands full, yet she still manages to get videos up every single days her content's really fun and energetic and positive and it always seems to put me in a good mood after watching her videos so I know you guys will love her so after you're done watching today's video I would love for you guys to go over to Emily's channel check her out subscribe and stick around if you guys enjoy her day in the life video because she's filming the same style of video I am you can also find her on Instagram she's been posting a lot to Instagram and I love following her over there as well and if you guys are going over to Emily's video to watch make sure you leave a comment letting her know you came from my channel and if you guys are new here Welcome. I obviously have a daughter. She's my only one. She is 22 months old. Her and Eli are like legit the same age. I think Eli's maybe two weeks. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't even think that. I think he's just a few days younger than Scarlett. So they're both about to be two. But anyways, we live in Phoenix, Arizona. On my channel, I share motherhood, lifestyle related content. Um, I really like to post content that gives you value and that is either going to inspire, uplift, educate in some way. And so that is really what I strive to do on my channel. So yeah, if you guys are new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button. You can also give this video a thumbs up if you guys like day in the life videos. I'm gonna get those legs. I'm gonna get those legs. On today's to-do list, I need to go to Trader Joe's because there's some salads I wanna pick up because I've been hooked on them. I need to get her some milk. I have four loads of laundry I need to do. Not even joking, I wish I was. 
And also, my friend Bailey had surgery because she broke her wrist, and I am going to bring something over to her today. I don't know what. The other thing I need to do is, I am picking out Scarlett's theme for her birthday party. Like I said, she's turning two in December, so it is just about that time, and I really need to get, I'm pushing her by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I really need to get that all figured out. So I have some Pinteresting to do later today as well. Help the ladybug. Help with the ladybug? Yeah. You want me to help Rocky you? Yeah. Okay, what do you say? Please. Good girl. All right, here we go, ready? <sighs> Boom, hold on. Good job. Scarlett, do you need help? Bye, ladybug. Bye, ladybug. What is this, Scarlett? Bumblebee. A bumblebee, you're right. Do you need help climbing up? Got it. You got it, okay. Little Miss Independent. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Peek <laughs> this is my breakfast this morning because we just are, are not home. So I'm gonna eat a crust maple waffle. I love these because I swear they're one of the best protein bars for you. There's 20 grams of protein, one grams of sugar, and 16 grams of fiber. I have not found anything better than that. Um, so I feel like Quest is definitely the best. Mmm, so good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a happy dance. There's legit waffle chunks and syrup in these. You guys, like, they're so good. I just ran inside and grabbed Scarlett one of these little apple and strawberry bars from Trader Joe's. Hey, do you want your snack? Yeah. Okay, you gotta switch me then. I need my phone. You need your snack. Thank you. Oh. There you go. Anyways, we went straight from the stroller from the park to the car and we are heading to Trader Joe's now. I just need like a few things to hold us over the next couple of days. There we go. This lip gloss is the NYX Butter Gloss with the color Cream, cream Brulee. You don't want to get out of your car seat? You want me to go away? Yeah. Okay, bye, see ya. All right, let me show you guys what we got at Trader Joe's really fast before we start lunch. It is currently 11.45, but we've already broke into these. They are the cinnamon apple snack sticks. I had to give Scarlett some in the car because she was begging for them. I picked up three bags of this pasta. This is the organic black bean rotini. This also has 14 grams of protein, so this is just a higher source of protein, and since she does love pasta, uh, I try to give her healthy options, so I got her some of that. This is the real reason I went to Trader Joe's today. This is my all-time favorite salad in the world. I swear I could eat this every single day. It's the corn and quinoa salad, but I actually got two things of this. Um, I think they're $5 a salad. This looks like it's not a lot of food, but once you actually get it open, it's a ton of salad. We got some apples. These are called sweet tango apples. They sounded good. Here's my other salad that I got. So I got two of those, one for today, one for tomorrow. I don't know how this ended up in our bag. I did not put this in our bag. Scarlett, did you put a pumpkin in the cart? Did you put this in the cart? Yeah. Yeah, well, here's your pumpkin. <laughs> There's your pumpkin. We got some more strawberries and some more mac and cheese. Do you want me to cook this for you? Yeah. Okay, we'll cook mac and cheese for lunch. And then I got her some yogurt because we are all out. This is just the strawberry non-fat yogurt. And then we picked up a bunch more snacks. She loves these. I showed you guys these earlier. You guys are familiar with the That's It bar. This is legit the same thing, just a different brand. If you look at the ingredients, all that's in it is apples and bananas. Apple raspberry dried fruit bars. Got three of those. And then she picked out one more of these, the apple wild berry. They're just like a fruit strip. We're about to have a meltdown, but I also grabbed some spicy California rolls. And I almost forgot the reason we went to Trader Joe's besides the salad was to get Scarlett some more milk. So I just picked up another thing of whole milk for her. Oh look, there's the waffle that I cooked for Scarlett this morning and forgot to give to her. <laughs> Seriously. I got a few questions about these in my last vlog or 
what I eat in a day that went up Friday. I got these all at, at home. They were $7.99 a piece, so they were super inexpensive, and I absolutely love them. I have been looking for some canisters for a while, but I can't link these, but if you guys have an at home by you, definitely go check them out. Um, they were with all the kitchen stuff. Your lunch is ready, Scarlett. Let's go sit. This is what Scarlett's eating for lunch. She has the mac and cheese from Trader Joe's, um, carrots, and then some fruit. Not the best lunch, but not the worst. And here's my lunch. So that little salad made this much food. Like there's a ton of salad in here. It's 1.15, we're laying down, oh, I'm laying down. Scarlett is playing on my phone in our bed. I need to go put her down for a nap. And then I have like a bunch of stuff I want to do at nap time, but I need to prioritize. So um, I wanna get a workout in on my desk bike. So I think I'm gonna do that and get some work done while I exercise. I'm gonna do that and I also want to look on Pinterest for some ideas for her birthday. And then I also need to do all of the laundry that I'm staring at right now. Um, it's a lot, <laughs> but I feel like I could probably try to get laundry done when she's awake. So I feel like I'm gonna do the other stuff first. Do you want to go take a nap? No. I don't know if you guys can hear her crying back there, but I have a lot of you guys think nap time is always super easy and 95% of the time it is, but the other 5% of the time she fights it. And today's just one of those days where she wants to watch TV and she doesn't want to go to bed. And so I just wanted to make sure I share this with you because not every day is easy. It's, some days are a challenge. And daddy's calling us right now too. So let's go get my phone. You can tell it night night, okay? And your milk's in your bedroom. This is baby. We're missing some though. There's lilac. We're missing maple blanket. I don't know how, but somehow I prevented a massive meltdown from happening. So she's in bed. I am going to sit right here on my desk bike, like I said, and get a workout in. Okay, you guys, it is 2.40. I have been on this bike for, let me see, um, 72 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, I have finally figured out what Scarlett's second birthday theme is going to be, and I want to share it with you all. Um, I'm not going to, like, hide anything. Like, I'm not going to do, like, a reveal. I'm just going to take you guys along with everything as I plan it and as it goes. Anyways, let me show you what it is. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. Um, let me show you the idea pancakes and pajamas I'm so excited I created a board on Pinterest if you guys want to follow me on there you can it's a bunch of different ideas and sorry that glare is so bad but I think this is gonna be such a cute theme my legs are like jello right now but um, it's gonna be a pajama party and I'm gonna have all of her guests wear pajamas and she's gonna wear pajamas and we're gonna do like a brunch theme party and it's not gonna be over the top like last year's party was if you guys followed me last year you know her party was a little extra it was such a good birthday party but whew, that was a lot of work and this year I really just kind of want to enjoy her birthday and enjoy December enjoy the holidays last year was just so crazy so it is going to be like way toned down but I am excited we have a theme picked out and I can get to planning now because it is like oh my gosh it's like a month away I think we're gonna have her birthday party the weekend before her birthday she turns two on December 7th and I can't wait to do DIY with you guys and show you all the food that I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna try to do as much as I can myself. So lots of fun vlogs to come. Oh, did you just hang up on daddy? <laughs> Anyways, Scarlett was just on the phone talking to Ty. I am sitting here um, doing laundry, which I have everything folded. Grandma, I have everything. Oh, what are you doing, Scarlett? What are you doing on mommy's phone? I have everything folded, I just need to put all of this away. It is currently 4.36. So Ty's on his way home right now, and as soon as he gets here, I'm gonna head out and run to Panera and pick up dinner for Bailey and her family, um, because I told you guys I'm gonna bring over dinner to them tonight. So since she's been awake, I have been doing laundry and just picking up her house. I cleaned our bedroom, and it's like, it hasn't been clean in a long time. So let me show you guys. Our bedroom has not been clean in forever, and so I have everything picked up for the most part. I still need to get this stuff, but it's finally like clean. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Hi, welcome to Panera. My name is Michael. What can I get for you? 
Hi, I need the you pick two um, with the tomato soup and the steak and cheddar panini. Um, and then I also need another you pick two uh, with the broccoli cheddar and then the chipotle chicken melt. And then I also need a kid's mac and cheese with um, the bread baguette. Just picked up Bailey's food at Panera. That's where I'm ordering from. I didn't get anything for Ty or I. I figured we could just eat at home tonight. I'm actually not even hungry either. Oh, so, thank you. You too. actually just switched he just left the house because he has to go do something it is currently 6 30 so Ty fed Scarlett dinner and now I'm giving her a bath and I'm gonna start the bedtime routine but yeah I was just looking at Scarlett's scarf from her surgery and it's really starting to fade it was like a bright red um, because she's so fair skinned it was very noticeable for the longest time and now we are almost what August, September, October, like almost two and a half months post-surgery and it's really starting to fade. It's about, I would say two inches long or so. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it's healing. So this is what I use on Scarlett's hair when she gets out of the bath. It's the Honest Conditioning Detangler. I've used this forever. I love the way it smells and it works really well. It helps her hair stay nice and soft. And then this is the lotion that I use. This is the Mustella, just the regular all body lotion they have. We're still using diapers. She's using up the rest of her Pampers diapers and then we're just doing um, undies and pull-ups. So potty training is in full force. Scarlett's currently running around naked because potty training. So can't show her right now, but the day you guys see this video, it'll be Monday of next week. So we have a busy week going on. So obviously Halloween is Wednesday and I did figure out what she's going to be for Halloween. We ended up just taking her to the Disney store and she picked out a princess costume. She was able to choose between Elsa, Anna, and Rapunzel because those are the three that she knows and really likes. And she chose to be Anna, so we got her an Anna dress and then she also got some Anna, like the boots that Anna wears. Uh, so she's gonna be Anna for Halloween. So that's what she's doing for Halloween. I just am at the point where I'm like, I don't even think Ty and I are going to dress up, but whatever, I'm over it. So then on Friday, Friday's gonna be really fun. So Ty is actually running a marathon with my friend Bailey's husband. So the marathon's in Tucson, which is like two hours south of us. So we actually have a hotel Friday night and we're gonna go stay down there. And then in the morning, the guys are going to run their marathon and Bailey and I and the kids are just gonna wait at the finish line for them. So I'm excited. It'll be a nice little getaway for us. It'll be fun to see all the hard work Ty has put into this marathon training too, to see him actually like doing it. So it should be fun. I think I'm gonna vlog it, but I do think I'm going to end the vlog right here and call it a night put her to bed, and then I'm gonna edit this video tonight. So that's really all that's gonna be happening. So if you guys enjoyed today's Day in the Life video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are new. Also, don't forget to check out Emily's video, which I'll have linked down below for you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you. Love you. Love you.